Hello, I'm Ellen Goldberg, and welcome to the Language of the Hand. Today we're going to take a look at the headline. The headline is this middle line that goes across the palm, starting from the edge where the thumb is and moving along outward towards the percussion. The longer the headline, the more intelligence the person has. But a headline doesn't have to be extremely long to be very serviceable, because just as important as the length of the headline is what we call the clarity of the line. If the line is deep and clear, even if it's shorter, it's usable. A line could be very long. Some of them go all the way out to the percussion. Some of them go all the way down to where the unconscious and imagination lies on the mount of the moon. But if that line is thin, defective, broken, or in some other way not very usable, then all that intelligence is not usable. So it's a toss-up. Every once in a while, you'll get to see a hand. Here we're going to put up the image of Einstein's hand, where the headline is both clear and long and has the extra feature at the end of having a fork on it so that he always sees two sides of everything. Not only that, his headline, just as in the one that I've drawn on my easel here, never touches the lifeline, though show independent thinkers. The wider the space between the headline and the lifeline, the more independent in thought, the more easy it is to self-validate for the person. The closer the headline is, and I consider that normal, normalish headlines really just touch because we're all dependent in our youth. We just don't want that headline to be joined way too long because that sets up a pattern for life and makes dependent, easily influenceable people who don't trust their own thinking and are always looking for other people's approval and opinions. The headline sometimes moves outwards towards the percussion and that shows people who are interested in real life. They are realists, they're practical, and what they want is reality. But other headlines, they slope way down to the Mount of the Moon. And that means they have a plumb line right into the subconscious. These people are intuitive, psychic, and even if they don't have a very strongly developed Mount of the Moon, say it's not very full and padded, they're still very influenced by the lunar or moon characteristics, dreamy, imaginative, psychic, because their headline goes directly into the mount. If someone's headline goes over directly to the mount of Mars, they'll pull in Martian qualities. That is, if they have a decent mount of Mars, if they have a nicely developed mount of Mars, sufficient, we're not looking for our total Mars type, then they'll pull in the courage and the stamina from that part of the hand. But if that headline goes to a defective mount of Mars, one that's weak and flat, they'll pull in the fear. A headline, to me, is the most important line in the hand. If I had to choose one line to have good, I'd have it be the headline. If your headline is a little bit defective, I've cleared up an island off of mine. You can't even see the ghost of it anymore. I've made my headline deeper and clearer than it ever was in my birth hand. Headlines change. Meditation is the medicine. You know the word meditation and the word medicine came from the same root, mediere, to find the right inner balance or right inner measure. Meditate. Study for half an hour a day, build up the muscles slowly, and you'll have better concentration. When a headline is deep and clear, a person has a good memory, capable of concentration, and is going to be able to be clear in thinking. Mm -hmm.